Hi there! In my last video, we learned how to build and test a stateless widget. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a stateful widget and leverage provider, change notifier and the view model pattern to create a powerful but light state management architecture. Let's get into it. For today's experiment, we will keep working on the to-do list app. Now we have a simple form to create and update pending tasks. The requirements are the following. The user can create a new task by tapping the button to add a task. The user can update a task by tapping the task inside the task list. The task form has a submit button that saves the task and changes the UI. We are going to use the view model pattern, where a class represents the model and we use it inside our widget, aka our view. This class extends from change notifier, which allows us to notify our listeners when something changes in our state. A good example is our save method. When the user submits the form, we call the save method, which calls the notify listener method from the change notifier class, which will notify all the listeners that are listening to our state chains. Our model class also provides read and write methods to change its internal state. For each field in our view, we have a get and a set inside our model. So probably now you are asking yourself, how we are going to use this model inside our widget? Well, we will provide it. By provide, I meant to use the provider package. It allows us to register instance of our model in the top of our widget tree and consume that same instance in a various set of widgets down below in the tree. Per our requirements, we need to instantiate a clean state of the task view model class when the user is trying to create a new task. When the user is trying to update the task, our model will have the selected task inside it. For that reason, we are registering our change notifier on the provider inside the routing system method. Once the user opens the create task form, it will register the clean state view model class. If the user opens a task to be updated, it will register the change notifier with the selected task inside it. Then we can consume whatever the state we have inside our stateful widget. The magic trick here is when we consume our change notifier inside our task form widget, our widget will be registered at the notifiers list which means that every state change that we do on the view model where we call the notify listeners will trigger a rebuild on the UI. This is exactly what we need because the submit button will save the task, notify the listeners and our task title will be our schedule title. Well, there are many ways to do state management in Flutter apps. Today we learn how to use provider, change notifiers and the view model pattern to create a simple but powerful state management strategy. We are investing a lot of energy in Flutter here at Modus Create. We really believe in its power and how it can drive the success of many mobile apps. If you 
Lycus is very interested in Flutter, subscribe to our channel and enable the notifications. For sure, there are more to come. Thank you and see you in the next one.